So hello all you great people. Hope everybody's been having a great weekend so far. Today we're going to take a look at the Panzer Kampfwagen 2 from Tamaya 135 scale. I built two of these because they're really easy to build and I did different camouflage and changed them up a little, changed them up a little bit. So let's take a look at these instruction sheets first and then I'll show you the two models. See, what, what I really like about these Ultimae kits is they have so so much information about units and about how the units are built and everything. And had good information about it. Different years and different formation types and what goes, you know, how many, how many tanks were in a company, how many tanks were in a division and everything here. It's really nice. So here you also have... Uh, some information is blacked out because we don't have, we're not allowed to have the swastikas here in Germany. So you can see they're covered up. Yes. So here's the crew, Africa Corps. Or, well, all three say Africa Corps. You also have here a chart with the ranks and stuff. Really, really nice information here. So this is actually really simple build and also a really simple instruction sheet so you see here on the first part we're walking we're working on the bottom of the hull the arms are molded in you put the back plate on here's the exhaust I saved that for last because I do a lot of painting on it to weather it and stuff and these uh, The arm here in the front you put on with the plate as well as these uh these hooks in the front number two you put the sprockets together or the road wheels together the idler arms together then you put them all on you also have the extra track which is also something i do last because of the painting number three here we're working on the turret <clears throat> You can see a turret ring here and this uh, little rear window here, siding window or whatever. Then you have your two guns here in the front on the mantle. Here's the turret rings and the optional bustle rack. I think they used that later in Africa. I read about it. It says somewhere here about it too. That's for the Type G, for the... Uh, Type G, yeah. Then here we're working on the top of the hole. We have our boxes here, some storage boxes, extra road wheel here on the front, the jack, a couple more of these little windows, some pioneering tools and a uh, no tech light in the headlights. And then here at the end, you put the track on, you put the hole, <clears throat> put the turret on the top of the hole, on the top of the hole, on the bottom of the hole, and you're finished. Now there's no painting instructions here, but it does explain how they were painted. I was wanting to build more of them, even. So here are my two Panzer twos, I was, uh, as well as the paints that I use for each one. Um, this is a G version, this is an F version. <clears throat> I was thinking about doing one, another one, like, like, dark gray with yellow, or, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about stuff like that, you know, doing more, because they're easy to build. For this one, I use the Ravel dark yellow, and for this one, I use Model Master. Uh, Africa Green Brown. This is a 2099, and this is Africa Dark Gray. That's 2103. I think they both turned out pretty good. I mean, like I said, they're simple kits, but they they turn out really good. I think. Um, even the track looks okay for Poly Track, except for this one's kind of twisted. That's one problem with the poly track is it gets twisted and it stays like it is. 
there's not really enough weight on the model to uh, you see this one's like on both sides is twisted but I mean I weathered the track really good but it's poly track so it looks really eh, crappy I guess <laughs> I don't seal up these holes in the bottom I guess I, I, mean, I don't guess uh, you used to be able to buy motors for this stuff I even had uh, a couple I had an M60 I don't remember who it was from it was a Korean company I'm pretty sure it might have been Academy I'm not really sure and I also had a T55 that was motorized but I haven't had them for a long time but see these are really it doesn't matter you can't see the bottom unless you turn it over um, but I think they really turned out really good I, 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 I recommend this model it's really good to just have a Panzer II like this they're simple to build I would if you really wanted an improvement get some new track that's really the only thing it needs is better track it turns out fine without with the rest the way it is out of the box in my next video we'll be taking a second look at this IGN Yamato from Fujimi next 001 it's supposed to be a good kit um, I looked at it before but it was a bad video we're gonna do it again I'm gonna do all the bad videos again so you can really see what's going on so thanks for watching please like and subscribe and until then